Hello friends! Today we are going to make a leaf print. Printing is where you make a replica of something. So we are going to be collecting leaves, putting paint on them, and then pressing them against the paper to make a copy of that leaf. But we can choose whatever color we want to make that leaf. So this is an example of the leaf print that I made. But does your leaf print need to look like mine? No, it doesn't. So you're different from me, right? Yes, that's right. So your art is gonna be lo looking wonderfully different from mine. And we all have different types of leaves that we'll find in our yard that are from different types of trees. As you can see, I have lots of different types of leaves that I found in my yard from many different trees. So you can do the same thing when you collect your leaves. I'm gonna just set this aside for now. So for parents with infants, I would suggest using a natural paint and you can um, find those recipes online or on this lesson and you can use um, leaves for your infant to paint with or you can pre-prep the leaves with some paint and they can do the rubbing and stamping themselves. All right, so first what you're going to need is a piece of blank white paper or any color paper that you would like. You're going to need some paint and the colors that I chose are colors that were inspiring me from nature. So a lot of the leaves right now outside are green, right? Yeah, so I have green. I also have yellow and orange and red. And these colors remind me of the fall when the leaves start changing colors and falling off the trees. But you can use any colors of paint that you would like. I also have um, a brush and I use a pretty big sized brush here because it's easier to spread the paint on the leaves when it's nice and big. I also have water here to rinse off my brushes so that I can have nice clear and colorful paint when I put them on my leaves. And I also have a basket of leaves. I have a little paper towel over top of some of the leaves I collected because I want to make sure that they don't blow away because it's a little bit windy here. All right, and I think that's almost everything. Oh yes, and you're gonna need an extra piece of paper or paper towel to put your leaves on so that you can apply the paint on a separate piece of paper or paper towel before you put them on your actual print. All right, I think we're ready to get started. So first what you're gonna need is to grab one of your leaves. I'm gonna do this nice big heart-shaped leaf and I'm gonna put it on this piece of paper. I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and flat so that it's easy to apply the paint. Then I'm gonna grab my big paintbrush and I think for now I'm gonna use the orange paint because it's nice and bright. So I'm just gonna get a good amount of orange paint and then I'm gonna start rubbing it on my leaf or applying it. So I wanna make sure that I get lots of paint on here because I wanna see all the details on this nice, big heart-shaped leaf. It's gonna be beautiful. All right. I'm gonna set my brush to the side. And then I'm gonna pick up my leaf and it might be a little bit flimsy, so you just be careful as you do it. But you can see that there's lots of orange paint. And then I'm gonna go plop onto the paper. And then first I'm gonna do a little poking here or a little tapping to make sure that my leaf goes down and then I'm going to start rubbing pretty gently because this leaf is pretty fragile so I want to be careful with it but I want to make sure it's nice and flat so all the paint gets on from the leaf onto the paper and then I'm going to slowly peel up and off <gasps> wow look you can see that I have an orange leaf now. Isn't that awesome? So I'm gonna do one more to make sure that you guys understand how the process goes and um, the importance of rinsing off your brush. You can also wipe your brush on a paper towel. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna rinse off my brush to make sure all the orange paint comes off of it so that my paint doesn't turn brown. 
But if you would like your paint to turn brown, feel free to mix all the colors if you want to, because there are brown leaves too. Because in the winter, all the leaves um, fall off the trees, and then you have brown leaves that are on the ground. All right, so I think the next leaf I'm gonna do is this nice pretty leaf. I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna grab green paint this time and put the green paint on this leaf. And remember to put a lot of paint on here so that the print comes out nice and clear. All right, I think that's enough paint. I'm gonna set my brush off to the side again and pick up this leaf. I'm very excited to see how this will look. And then I'm gonna go plop, Ooh, it's stuck to my finger, plop. And I'm gonna go tap, 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 tap. And then I'm gonna go rub, rub, rub. And it's kind of fun to press the stem of the leaf down too so that you get part of the stem on there. And I think it's about good now. And then I'm gonna grab the stem and I'm gonna go whoop. And look, here is my nice pretty green leaf. All right, my friends. So this is our leaf printing project. I hope you have fun. Feel free to make as many prints as you would like. You can also overlap your leaves and mix colors and add more colors to make it really fun and interesting. All right, thanks for joining me today. Bye.